Well, here we are. Uh, this week's. Oh, wait, I'm going to go Te Reo. <clears throat> No mai, haere mai, uh, kia ora and welcome to this week's edition of the Sports Show, coming to you live and direct from beautiful Arthur's Point. Honey, Arthur's Point. It is glorious. Denny Bevan, how are you? Thanks ben for, Henry. Thanks thanks, for mate. popping over from next door. Pleasure, pleasure. And also thanks to Pete and Soph who have uh, made the effort to come and watch today's filming. Bit of a special theme with today's show and, and a big talking point from the uh, North Face Frontier event last week at the Remarkables equal pay for the men and women athletes. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Uh, but first of all, Danny, while you're here, mate, um, we're going to catch up with you ahead of a big event for you this weekend. Yeah, yeah, the Quest uh, Bank Slalom. You've got a pretty good track record up there. Not too bad, not too bad. Can you run us through some of your some of your finishes? Some of your, some uh, of your last stats? year was a third finish. Um, I wasn't the most aerodynamic. You're strongly encouraged to dress up for the event. Ah, the infamous Bank Slalom. Let's break it down. Snowboarders dressed up, hurl themselves around gates down roller coaster like terrain at Coronet Peak while avoiding snowballs. Good luck. This is a bit of a unique event in that uh, there's a, one of the features is a snowball corner. So the first, uh, the first corner on the course is um, people strongly encouraged to uh, snowball the snowball the shit out of you. That's and obviously you mentioned earlier maybe a, a sort of more of a streamline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you are going to go fancy dress, you know, but it's something something tight. Yeah. And fitting. I think one of my uh, ones was actually a, a sort of a bl blow up emu racer. That was very very unaerodynamic uh, okay. as it turned out. Looks good. Oh yeah, looked great. But yeah. you know, it didn't yeah didn't didn't really sort of help with uh, the placement on the podium, but. Uh, you are one of the OG snowboard pros here in Queenstown. Yep. How, right. how was that scene? Was it in the 90s when you were sort of crushing it and... Yeah, yeah, it was a good, it was a good time. Back in the heyday, well it was pretty exciting. Snowboarding was kind of in its infancy and so um, everyone was, was, was pretty into it. And when I first started, um, sort of late, yeah, early 90s, late 80s, um, it was uh, pretty cool. If you saw another board on the mountain, you were sort of, you know, Pretty excited about it. That was when Coronet had a, a double as the main chair. People realised pretty quickly that snowboarding wasn't just a fad and wasn't just going to go away, it was here to stay. Pretty rare meeting um, you know, someone who's been born in, in that old <laughs> product of the bungee backpackers, born and raised. Yeah. Now it's no longer there, now it's a big <laughs> hole in the ground. So from back in those days to today, how do you think that the snowboarding landscape has, has changed? Um, well, it's exploded. We've got some amazing freestyle athletes, and um, I think the world's clearly focused on you know on New Zealand as a you know alternate sort of training ground. Just from that, are you still hitting your prime? Because some of these results, uh, I can call, right it up a, there. call it another comeback, Henry. Um, so I got back on the board. Um, you know, really enjoyed uh, you know doing the bank slaloms. Went to Triple Cone, won that one. Um, had one at Cadrona, won that one. And then also, um, and then Coronet um, in the Quest again a couple of years ago won that one too, and sort of got this idea in my head that uh, you know that um, uh, suggested uh, from uh, a good friend of mine, snowboard colleague from back in the day, yeah. uh, Dylan Butt, to go uh, to go hit Mount Baker. Is that that dirty big like almost a rogue? Is it almost on its own? Is it that one? Yeah, that, yeah, that it's, you a, can it's sort a of see from Seattle. Yeah, volcano. Yeah, yeah, on a clear day. Often yeah. it's quite clagged and in, in, in cloud, but it's um. It gets the 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 highest um, the highest annual sort of snowfall um, on record yeah. out of out of anywhere in the world. Two hundred and sixty inches. Um, Is it more than Japan? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, more than Japan. Really yeah. hard to get into. Only four hundred places. Got a spot. Put yeah. the ticket. Um, went and competed and made the finals and um, ended up with the with this bad boy. Yeah, nice. So the whole thing with uh, you know snowboarding again in, in its infancy was technology wasn't quite there yet. So you know duct tapes synonymous with old you know old world snowboarding if you will. And it sort of comes to this is actually like the bib. <laughs> it is uh, fully usable duct tape. If you ever you know get in a bind or want to be in a bind, you, could you can still into... sort of tap into using it. But uh, you know you would lose the bronze. Bronze, bronze finish, and bronze finish, and all that. But um, no, it's pretty cool, and um, just a, a great experience. And again, really that grassroots. You know, there's some there's, uh, the Travis Travis Rices and the Terrier Harkinsons and all those sort of guy, guys are there. And same thing, everyone's just there to have a great time. They really look after the snowboarders. And Mount Baker's got a really 
like New Zealand club field sort of vibe oh, yeah. to it. Just really, really good, and you know they're always supportive of everybody. So. Well, there we go. The uh, was it the Quest and LibTech uh, yep, Bank Island this Saturday yep, up at awesome. Coronet Peak. All the best out there, Denny. Thanks, mate. Thank good you on so you. much for Pleasure. Uh, Pleasure. taking a seat with us out here. Thanks for the cuppa. Um, we've just got a bit of sports news. Uh, the most savage game of rugby league went down Monday night. It was a Coronet Peak versus Remarkables really? grudge match. Awesome. And it was psycho, yeah. I've sort of got some black eyes and I think I ripped a tip. Who did you, who did you represent, mate? Coronet Peak. Uh, 20 oh. to 18, so a hell of a game. Uh, a lot of blood, a few broken bones. And that signifies the end of the, of the rugby league into field competition from next year. I think they're playing touch. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just because it's... Cotton Wool Society. Also, uh, big it up for Sam Robbie, uh, downhill mountain biker from Arrowtown. He finished 12th in the world uh, wow. after the World Cup campaign. So, respect to you, Sam. Nice brother. Fantastic. And respect to the people at the North Face and their Frontier Free Wild Tour uh, four-star event last week. Up at the Remarkables, down the shoots there, some um, some pretty psycho lines and, and pretty variable conditions. Uh, but the action on the day, well done to uh, a lot of Kiwis, so I think the, the home ground advantage was quite favourable. Jessica Hotter was the winner of the uh, ski women category. Awesome. In the men's, shout out to Roland Morley Brown, he came third. Cool. Local Queenstowner. And the men's in the skiing division, and it was a bit of a dark horse, Blake Marshall, uh, cool. that won that event. And the best news, equal pay. This year, the North Face Frontier is offering equal prize money to men and women, which is epic and something that is seen all too rarely in our sport. So this year they're making the equal prize. I think that is a really big thing. It's always been a gender bias. Getting the same equal prize is super huge. Was it two grand? Perfect. I think it was two. Was it two? Oh, yeah. yeah. The the laying their bits on the line just the same as the exactly as the boys. so you know and that's that's a, a big thing in in, uh, in in sport and you know generally in general news yeah that equal sort of equal pay so um, well done for being a bit of a pioneer in that payment prospect fantastic um, and also a little bit of love we've had a lot of love to uh, the adaptive skier who finished out the day at the frontier um, we love him we've had him on the show Patrick Daniel oh, cool. Halgren the one-legged battler he skied the show has got a bit of air. Hit, awesome. hit, like, hit probably mark three as he came onto the lake and hate shit. Yeah. But um, an Champion. absolute spectacle and what a way to round out the event. So oh, that's awesome. Shot Pat. Um, that's us for the sports show. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Denny and thanks to the Cheers, capacity guys. Thanks. crowd. See you up, Coronet. Thanks, guys. Yeah. See you out there Saturday. Woo!